guys, what's up? It's your girl, Jasmine. <laughs> How are you guys? I know, it's been a minute, but guess what? I'm back like I never left. How y'all doing? <laughs> so, today, I want to share with you guys what to do at a casting. I've been to many, many castings, and I just want to share with you guys a few tips that I've you know, point it out, feel like are very important for you to take note of when you're going to a casting so that your casting could go smooth, smoother than mine's did. You know, I there was some mistakes that I've made and I learned from them and I obviously want to share that with you guys and make sure that, you know, your journey goes smoother than mine's. So, I guess let's get right into it. The first tip would be to follow that the directions of the flyer. Whatever you, however you found out about the casting, if it was through email, a flyer on Instagram, whatever the case is, follow what they say because it's very important. <laughs> Make sure you read everything too. Like, don't just see the date and the time and where and then don't read everything on the flyer or wherever you got the information from. Um, it's important to read everything on the flyer uh, because that's, there's things that you may be on there that you don't know that they want of you or they expect of you and then you show up unprepared. That's not a good thing. So, so make sure you follow the directions and make sure you read everything. Which leads me into my next tip. Make sure you're following the directions when you get there. They're going to have a certain system and each casting is different. Each casting is very different. They're going to have a certain system on how they want to direct the casting and how they want to do it. Make sure you're following the directions and make sure you're listening to whoever is speaking that is in charge there because it is important. There has been plenty of times and plenty of castings that I went to that people are not paying attention and the owner, you don't even know who, who, sometimes you don't know who is looking at you or who is around and they see what you're doing. You know what I mean? And so if you're not following directions, then it's like, why would I even want you to, to model for me if you can't follow something so simple? So make sure you're just following directions from the time you know about the casting to the time you leave the casting, okay? So my next tip would be, if you're bringing someone with you, I, I like to have somebody with me as some support. Um, it's definitely a help. You know, just It just helps, you know, kind of eases your nerves a bit. Um, so, but if you're going to bring someone, make sure that there is a backup plan for them to go. Because not all castings want, you know, an audience or family members and friends and stuff waiting in the waiting area. Some places don't have a waiting area for that. A casting is really only for you to go to. So, if you are bringing someone, if it is a far distance and someone's come with you, you had a ride, whatever the case is, make sure there's a backup plan for that person so that they can go either sightseeing or something. Just know that... So most castings um, don't have places for your extra people. So make sure you have a backup plan for them. I learned the hard way, trust me. <laughs> My next tip would be to get there as early as possible. It's very important to be on time, but to be early, you'll get to see the sense of what's going to go on. You'll get to, you feel the vibe of the room, the vibe of the person that you are doing the casting for, even if, if they're there or not, you'll feel it. And it's, it's good to be there early because then that person, if they're watching or not watching, they can know that, you know what I mean? They can feel that, okay, she's going to be on time. He's going to be on time when I need them or if I cast them. Um, for my show or my booking or whatever the case is. So being on time is important, but being early is even more important. So I advise, my tip would be to be early at a casting. Next tip would be to bring an extra pair of shoes. Um, bring First off, bring your favorite heels, very simple heels, heels that you can walk in. If you can, bring a duffel bag of heels so that you can fill 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 it out kind of thing um on how and what you may want to walk in um for your casting i know a lot of people like uh certain heels no wedges stuff like that so again like i said in my first tip make sure that you're reading the directions because they will tell you usually what to wear and what to bring but on top of your heels make sure you bring a pair of flats because i know that you don't want to walk in those heels all day and again depending on where your casting is you'll be in those shoes all day unless you want to walk barefooted around but <laughs> i don't think that would be wise so bring a pair of flats bring a pair of something i remember one casting i went to I didn't bring a pair because I thought, oh yeah, these are my comfortable boot heels, you know what I'm saying, I'm fine. 
mm -mm. I had to walk like all through the city and my feet were rubbing and it was just horrible. So yeah, bring a pair of flats, bring a pair of chacletas, bring some Nike slides, something. Bring something for after the fact so that you can relax your feet and you can be comfortable on your way home. Another tip would be to be as simple as you can be. You are selling you. You are you. Like that's it. You're not selling your makeup. You're not selling your weave. You're not selling your nails. Everything be as plain and as simple as it can be. Clear or neutral nails, very simple makeup, not too much, very like nude lip or if not no lip, you know, a little shine, a little glimmer or something. Um, but very simple. Don't do too much. No dramatic eye, nothing. That's that's not what you're selling. You're not selling that you could do makeup. You're selling that you want to be a model and you want to be in this person's show. So make sure that it's very simple. If you have weave in your hair, again, make sure it's simple, nice slick back or something. Don't do too much. You know, be you, but don't do too much. Um, because again, you're selling you. The whole point of the casting is for them to see who you are, to see your face, and if they want to use you. It's just that simple. So just make sure you're keeping it very simple. That's it. <laughs> if you're a new model and you don't have a comp card or you don't have a portfolio, just see if you can bring a headshot or a picture or something. A lot of the castings look for a picture so that, because they're not going to really remember your number and your face, so, you know, they connect it that way. So, again, this also follows with the first um, tip, which is, you know, follow the directions, see what they want you to bring and stuff like that. But again, uh, try to get a headshot if you don't have one. But if you do have one, if you do have your comp card, you do have your portfolio, make sure that you bring that and make sure that in your portfolio that you have extra pictures that you can give them because they're going to take your picture. <laughs> so make sure that you are, some, some do, some take your picture, some will just give it back. It depends, again. But make sure that you have all those things with you because it's very important. That's, again, how you're selling yourself. Um, that's how you are. That's your brand. Your pictures are your brand. Your face is your brand. So make sure that you're bringing that. My last tip is to be confident. Be confident in answering any questions. Be confident in how you walk. Be confident in everything that you do. As soon as you open that door to the casting, you better make sure your confidence is through the roof, okay? Because they're gonna look at that and confidence is key. You need to be confident. You need to love yourself and know that you're going to own that and you're going to get that. And even if you don't get that, you still did that, okay? Because at the end of the day, that's just what you're supposed to do. Again, that's your brain. You never know who's watching. You could have different judges there. Maybe the person that you're doing the casting for didn't want you, but that judge has another show coming up and sees your information and may want you for their show. You never know. You make sure that your confidence is confidence is through the roof and you own everything that you do the minute that you walk into that door okay that's just it they're gonna see the low confidence and you're gonna be nervous it's okay to be nervous sometimes it's just it's just a breathe like you just need to take a second and breathe if you need to take a second if you really feel like your nerves are getting the best of you go to the bathroom do some breathing exercises you know and again just know that you're gonna own it Practice does make perfect. So if you're gonna, if you know a casting is coming up, practice. You know what I'm saying? Do the breathing techniques before. C try to calm your nerves as much as you can before you get to the casting. I know sometimes like it's easier said than done. You can walk into the, you could be fine the whole day and then walk into the casting and be like, oh, and stuck. Like, again, just go into the bathroom, simply act, oh, where's the bathroom? Whatever the case is. And <clears throat> do some breathing techniques. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you are beautiful and you know what you're doing and you got this. And you walk out that bathroom and you go on your casting. <laughs> and it's just that simple. I hope you guys love these tips. I hope they are very helpful for you guys. I love you so much for watching. I love you so much for staying tuned and sticking with me and following my journey. I really, really, truly, deeply appreciate it. Again, I really hope that these tips help. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to do more tips. That's my whole YouTube page is for it to be tips on how to go through this journey. It's a hard journey. It may be a long or short journey for you, but it's a journey. And I'm so happy that you guys are with me to go through mine. I love you guys so much for watching. Bye.